Hello, um, I'm just doing a quick video um, to show you how to use the guitar chord and scale helper which I've um, created for Photoshop. Basically it makes drawing diagrams for chords and scales for the guitar a lot easier. So, before we start you'll need a copy of Adobe Photoshop I'm using CS2 at the moment, um, but it is quite expensive. So if you can't um, use Photoshop, you can always use a free um, program called the GIMP, which you'll find at www.gimp.org. So that's GIMP.org, uh, and that you'll be able to use layers in that. Basically, you need a, a program which will support layers because this is a TIFF file. Um, which you can see here is a lots and lots of layers. It just makes doing chord diagrams easier. I looked around on the internet and I couldn't find anything, so uh, I've made this one up. Uh, and it's going to be free to download if you want, and you can download it at uh, focusonguitar.com. Right, I'll show you how it works. Basically, these little folders here are where all the magic is. You've got the chord scale name, so if we click on that, the chord scale name comes up. Now, say we want to put into there, uh, a, we want to do a pentatonic scale, F sharp pentatonic scale, say. I'll just show you how to do that in a moment, but we will need to rename it first. So we could go and we'll click the layer. If we open the chord and scale name folder, click the layer, go over to the type tool, click on the type tool go into where the chord and scale name is, click just to the right of the uh, scale name, highlight it, and we could put in the F mm, sharp minor pentatonic scale. So let's leave it at that so we can close that one. We can put that back into the uh, into the chord scale name folder. Now we want the dots, so we'll go to the fret dots. We'll open the fret dots folder, um, or group, I should say. They're actually called groups. These where the fret dots are. Um, we'll go onto the. We'll start from the sixth string. So if we're using the sixth string, we'll click on the folder for the sixth string. We want uh, a dot on the second fret. Well, we just need a dot. So basically, we'll click on the sixth string number one. We'll take move to the move tool over here, grab a sixth string dot, and we shall put it. We're going to start the scale there. So we're one, two, three higher, and we shall put that there. When it goes, you can either move it around, drag it and drop it, or you can move your keys, uh, your arrow keys. There we go, and we'll move it into position. Now the next one, we want another one on the sixth string, so we'll have number two. We'll click the move tool and we'll move another one up and we'll put it there. Ideal. Now, close that. We need the fifth string now. So we'll go to the fifth string folder, open the fifth string folder, click on number one, go to the fifth string, drag over. There we go. Move it around with let's move it around with the arrow keys. There we go. Down a little bit and a little bit more and across. There we go. Doing it we want another one on the fifth string. And that will go two frets higher, which is ideal. Now we move to the fourth string and we do the same again. We just move all the way through. Click number one, go to the fourth string. There we go. That's the one. Another one on the fourth string. So we'll take that one over there. There we are. Shut that one. Same for the third string. One, go to the third string. There we go. Another one on the third string. Take that over. Take it to that one. There we go. Now we're cooking. So this time we're doing the, the second string. So we go to the second string, take the second string over. And that's it. Another one on the second string. This time we're going to go there. There we go. Ideal. Then we've got the first string left. Click on the first string, open the group. First string, first string, over, plonk. Move it with the arrow keys. There we go. And this time straight over with that one. And we'll take that one down to the there we go. Done. So that's your strings uh, in position. If you need to move them, if you're using the first and second um, 
uh, layers here, all you have to do is highlight the one you want. If you want to move the dot, say, and uh, highlight the one you want to move, and move it over. There we go. And that, that second one needs to go up slightly, so I think we should put that one up there. That one moves. Highlight. Exactly. We can close that, so now all the dots are on. Now we need to put the finger numbers on, so all we do is exactly the same thing, finger numbers. The finger numbers over here, uh, on this little black uh, pad here. I'm going to show you how it, what it looks like full size, because it might be difficult to see there. So let's have a look, actual pixels. So there we go. So what we can do now, I know that you can't see, but this is, there we go, drag the numbers into position. So let's try that so we'll go over in the first string we want all of those are going to be our first finger so basically we're going to go over here we're going to click one we're going to drag a number one over and we're going to put it there we're going to pick drag another number one over and there we're going to drag another one there we go we're going to drag another one over we go the fifth one ideal and the sixth one. There we go. All your six number ones are in there. Um, let's just bring this window up a little bit. Now, what we're going to do, we'll need three using the, we need three um, number threes basically. So we'll go to number three, open the number three group, click. Let's, let's keep it in string order actually because then uh, when it comes to moving them we'll know where we are. So this time we're going to want a number three and we'll put it on the fifth string. There we go. We want one on the fourth string, so we'll put that one on the fourth string. And we need one on the third string, so we'll drag that one across and put it on the third string. There we go. And now these are your fourth finger. So we'll do exactly the same again. Open the fourth. We want fourth on the sixth string, the second string, and the first string. So we want the sixth string and number four second string a number four all I'm doing highlighting the f string that I'm on taking across the number and there we go that's basically it so you've got your we can close that folder up and we can close that folder up so we're all nice and tidy again let's go in and uh, view and fit on the screen now there we go so we've got a nice little uh, diagram there using the right finger in fingering that we like don't forget if you need to move these at all um, just click on the layer that it's on uh, and move it around either with your arrow uh, with your cursor or with your keys uh, so basically now all that remains is to go into the shape tool there and go through there we'll click we'll get rid of that we don't need that we can use that there we go so select double click it to select it it will cut it off it might take a while because the computer is not that fast um, and it is quite, um, quite a large file but uh, what it will do is basically cut out the little chord diagram now you can use this for doing your chords um, you do your own fingerings there we go let's have a look so I think we need to make that smaller actually because it's quite big so it's a 72 so it's ideal for showing on screen um, let's make it 600 and then click OK um, in a moment it will do it sorry about this it's the uh, computer it's really slow there we go and now if we go into view actual pixels there we go and that's the diagram that we've got so that that's basically it so if you want to get this um, little TIFF file if you've got Photoshop or you're going to get the GIMP and you're going to use it uh, be my guest you'll find it at um, up here let's go to the move tool http colon slash slash www.focusonguitar.com download it and start using it and I hope you find it useful bye bye